Well, did you watch Nikhil Kamath's previous video on longevity with millionaire Brian Johnson? Today, we're going to talk about something that's incredibly fascinating. Why the world's richest people are spending massive amounts of money trying to live longer. Yes, billionaires are now spending crores and crores of rupees on defeating aging itself. Imagine if you could add 20, 30 or even 50 healthy years to our lives. This isn't just science fiction anymore. It's becoming a real possibility thanks to cutting edge research that billionaires are funding. But why are they so interested in this avenue? Today, we're going to find out. But first, Let's try to look at some of the big names investing and living longer. First up is Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon. He has invested in a company called Altos Labs. This company received over 22,000 crores or about $3 billion in funding. Altos Labs is working on something called cellular reprogramming basically teaching old cells to become young again. Imagine if you could just hit a refresh button to your body cells like you do on your computer. That's exactly what this company is trying to do. Next up is Larry Ellison, the founder of Oracle. He has spent more than 3,700 crores or $450 million on aging research through his foundation. He once famously said, death makes me very, very angry and it's unacceptable that we just accept death as an inevitable. Third is Peter Thiel, the co-founder of PayPal. He has invested in Sense Research Foundation and Retro Biosciences. The Sense Foundation has received about 415 crores or $50 million in funding to work on repairing cellular damage that's caused by aging. Peter Thiel also has invested personally in cryonics, the process of freezing your body after death in hopes of being revived in the future. Fourth is Google's co-founder, Larry Page. He helped create a company called Saliso Labs in 2013 and has personally put in more than 12,400 crores or $1.5 billion into the company and they're studying the biology of aging and working on ways to increase health lifespans. Next up is Sam Altman the chief executive officer of OpenAI. He has invested in a company called Retro Biosciences, which got 1,660 crores or $200 million in funding to work on adding 10 healthy years to human life. Lastly, it's Brian Johnson, who made his fortune with Braintree Payments. This person spends 16.6 crores or $2 million every year on his personal anti-aging regimen. He takes dozens of supplements, follows a strict diet, and constantly monitors his body with medical tests. He even tried experimenting with treatment using his teenage son's blood plasma. Think of that, that is so absurd. But why are all these ultra wealthy people obsessed with living longer? Well, first up, these billionaires are used to solving big problems with money and technology. They have disrupted industries and have changed the world with their companies and now want to disrupt aging itself. For them, death is not a spiritual matter. It's a technical problem waiting to be solved. Second, when you think about it, when you have everything that money can buy, one thing that it cannot buy is more time. And for people who have achieved unlimited wealth and power, their mortality remains a frustrating limitation. There's also a massive potential for this to turn out to be a huge industry. The anti-aging market is today already worth over 50 lakh crores or $600 billion and is rapidly growing. If a company discovers treatments that truly can extend the lifespans of human beings, it could easily become one of the most valuable businesses in history. And lastly, many of these billionaires have a save the world mentality or mindset and extending human lifespans by decades could change civilization forever. And this could actually become their greatest legacy. This is what they'll be known for in the world. Okay, let's take a look at some of the funds that these billionaires have invested in. First up is Longevity Vision Fund. This was started by Sergey Young, a wealthy Russian born investor this fund has 8,300 crores or $1 billion at its disposal to invest in longevity startups. They've invested in companies like Ligenesis, which is a company that's developing technology to regrow organs inside the human body. Next up is Apollo Health Ventures. This is backed by several billionaires and this fund invests in companies like Avion Pharmaceuticals, which is developing drugs that mimic the anti-aging effects of calorie restriction without requiring you to eat less. Imagine if you could just continue eating whatever you're eating and pop a pill and still lose weight, nothing like it. Third is the Longevity Fund, founded by Laura Deming when she was just 18 years old. This fund has invested in companies like Unity Biotechnology, which is working on removing zombie cells from the body that causes aging. Next is Kizu Technology Ventures. This is a German fund that invests in companies like Underdog Pharmaceuticals, a company which is developing ways to remove toxic material that accumulate in our arteries as we age. What's really interesting is that it's just not these funds who have invested in companies like this. 
this, there are other companies that are also working on reversing aging. In Silico Medicine is a great example. This one uses artificial intelligence to discover new anti-aging drugs in just days instead of years. They have developed a drug that can potentially extend lifespan that's now under human clinical trials. BioAge Labs is another one. This analyzes blood samples from exceptionally long living human beings like those in Japan to find longevity molecules that could help everybody live longer. Turn Biotechnologies is the third. This company is working on a technology to reprogram your cells to a younger state using special RNA molecules. Fourth is Juanescence. This company is developing supplements and drugs that target the fundamental process of aging and it has about 15 different projects in development. Lastly, there's a company called Loyal. This is particularly interesting because they're focusing on extending dog lifespans and they believe that this research could lead through breakthroughs in humans as well. So it's just not the billionaires and ultra high worth individuals in Europe and the United States that are really invested in putting money into these aging tech or longevity companies. Indian billionaires are also joining this movement. Nitin and Nikhil Kamath, founders of Zeroda, are investing in health and longevity through their fund Rain Matter. With an estimated net worth of over 11,000 crores or $1.3 billion, the Kamath brothers have specially set up a fund that focuses on startups that improve health spans and quality of life. Their investments include Ultra Human, which makes metabolic fitness tracking devices, and Good Milk, which produces plant-based products for better health. So the Kamath brothers, like many other billionaires, are not just believing in the signs of living longer, but also living healthier and better. So why am I creating this video? What could this mean for people like you and me? Well, these treatments initially might be extremely expensive for us, but just like any other technology, this could eventually become more affordable and accessible. Countries like ours with a strong pharmaceutical industry and medical research capability and background could play a major role in making these technologies available to more people. Indian companies like Biocon and Dr. Reddy's laboratories are already expanding into more advanced biological treatments. Imagine a world where the average person could live a healthy life, an active life, and even increase the lifespan to about 100 or 120 years. How would this change your plans of the future? Your education plans, career choices, retirement savings, and even family planning. Well, the quest for longer life is not new. Humans have been searching for the fountain of youth for thousands of years. In fact, if you go back and read the Upanishads or the Ramayana or the Mahabharata, you will find some evidence there as well. But what is really new for the first time in history is that we have the scientific knowledge, technology and massive financial resources that can achieve this goal. Billionaires are betting huge sums of money on the possibility of extending human lifespan, creating a new industry focused on making aging optional rather than inevitable. Well, whether these investments will pay off or not, that remains to be seen. I don't know the answer and perhaps even you don't. But one thing is certain, the line between science fiction and reality is continuing to blur. In the coming decades, it will transform the way fundamental understanding of human lifespan and aging works altogether and perhaps make us even more younger. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this and the others that we've brought you and you want to know more about how aging is changing our future, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Also, leave your comments in the section below. Would you want to live to 150 years if you could stay healthy? Share this video with your friends and family and see what they like to think about this topic as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.